Hello, I'm Martin Groff. And I'm Robin Moore. Welcome to AMP Productions Around the World in Three Minutes. Today we're traveling to Berlin, the capital of Germany, and a hub of history, art, and culture. Berlin's gritty, down-to-earth feel is quite unique, and it's a must-see for anyone traveling through Europe. Unter den Linden, the historical main street of Berlin, lays at the heart of the city and is lined with the famous linden trees. It is on this street that many of the major landmarks stand, like the Berliner Dom and Rotes Rathaus, the city hall for Berlin. The Berliner Dom is one of the most famous churches in Berlin. Established 1451 as a Royal Prussian church across from the city palace, the present building was finished in 1905. The Brandenburg Gate is at the end of Unter den Linden and is perhaps the most famous landmark in Berlin. Surrounded by the wall, it was a symbol of the city's division during the Cold War. Originally, it had been constructed as a Prussian Triumph Gate in 1788. Today, its meaning has changed yet again, and it is a symbol of German unity. The haunting Holocaust Memorial, constructed after the fall of the wall, sits nearby. Alexanderplatz is at the other end of Unter den Linden and was the main square in East Berlin. Today, it is often the location of festivals such as the Berlin Oktoberfest or Christmas markets. It's certainly a place to check out and see what's going on. The most famous observation tower in Berlin is the Fernsehturm, located at Alexanderplatz. Completed in 1969, the tower was largely a prestige project by the East German government. Speaking of the divided city, the East Side Gallery is a long stretch of the Berlin Wall that was left standing and has some of the city's most famous murals. The wall was designed in the 1950s to keep East Germans from leaving for West Germany where the economy and freedom were in better shape. Be sure to book in advance if you want to tour the Reichstag building, which is the German Parliament building constructed in the 1890s. Heavily damaged during World War II and in a pre-war fire, the building was remodeled after the German reunification with a large glass cupola meant to res represent the transparency of government. Completed in the 1990s, visitors are able to walk up to the roof of the building and climb the cupola. It's just one way to see the very unique mixture of different historical eras in the very unique city of Berlin. And that's been Around the World in 3 Minutes. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next week as we visit another city.